It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Raiders and the Bulls, and it comes your way next. Stop. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Southern California and the gorgeous SoFi Stadium in the Los Angeles suburb of Inglewood. Good battle coming up here in the AFC West. So glad you're with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Partner, this division has been the domain of the Kansas City Chiefs. They've won eight straight division titles, three Super Bowl wins during that stretch as well. And every year, you get here and you ask, who can knock off the Chiefs? Well, I think if you ask the other three teams in the AFC West, they would all say, okay, this is our year. But really, for a division where all three of those teams were sub-500, last year now there's been some coaching changes some new blood but until you knock off the champ they're still the champ and right now until further notice this division continues to run through the kansas city chiefs and barring something crazy i don't expect that to change very much this year the chargers led out by justin herbert in his fifth season now greg as the charger qb a guy we saw win the offensive rookie of the year in 2020 his skill set can be determined by the letter a arm talent accurate athletic and he's got a kind of aura about him there's something special that they know when he's under center we have a shot first round pick he's got everything you want for the quarterback position he needs to take that next step from being a legitimate bona fide franchise quarterback to a superstar in the NFL. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he gets this up to the 42. We met with these coaches during the week, Mike. They told us the emphasis this week about getting the run game going early. And we see it here. Nice first play pickup. Fresh set of downs. He's going to take a shot. Sends it down the middle. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25. It's a big one for the Chargers. 36 yards. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. First and 10. A give zone read. It's Edwards. And he's going to be brought down just outside the 10 yard line. They call it a gain of 13. It's good for a Charger first down. Mike, you know the best time to pick up first downs is? On first downs. Don't wait for third down. We see it here. Three plays in a row, three first downs on chunk plays, and this offense is rolling. That is caught. And that is the way to start a game. Not just score, but Greg, score quickly. A nice opening drive for the first six points. Well, it seems like the hour spent on that opening game script was time well spent. I mean, to take the ball right down the field that quickly, right out of the gates, that's a pretty good opening drive and an early six points. Cameron Dicker, the kicker for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Chargers will take a 7-0 lead. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Here comes Amir Abdullah on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Raiders offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback, drafted back in 2019 out of Washington State. It's Gardner Minshew. Don't let this guy's laid-back personality fool you, Mike. He is a tremendous presence to have in your quarterback room. Not only does he have the ability to manage the game at a high level, but your team has a legitimate chance to beat anyone in the league whenever he's under center. Now, I don't know if I'd classify him as a long-term
long-term solution, but he's certainly someone every franchise they would love to have. A gain of 14. Good for a quick first down. In motion is Myers. Here's Minshew now on first and 10. On first throw of the game, is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the former Wolverine, the rookie from Michigan. This is an area of the offense, Mike, that's going to happen. Time is written now as this game unfolds. They talked all week. Come out early. Get some completion. Settle down this quarterback. Well, in return, he throws an early pick. It's too early to go away from the game plan. There's a lot of game left. But this passing game is going to have to get on track throughout the rest of this game. The Chargers offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll have a short field looking to build on the lead. So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll run it with Edwards. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. It's a gain of 12 there. And the Chargers have the first down. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass, unmask the defense, and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Got his man at the six. on the field on that last play they call it 13 personnel because there's one running back three tight ends one wide receiver so everybody on defense is thinking run they catch him off guard a little with the pass and they take advantage of it in a big game downfield two yards from six points it is first down and goal they'll run here with edwards and he's going to get stopped in the backfield. They'll take him down at the three-yard line. And these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push they get. The offensive line goes backwards, and they take the ball carrier down for a loss. Putting the tight end in motion. Again, it'll be Edwards. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one, setting up third and goal. From the gun, it's Herbert. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Vlad McConkey, the one he was looking for. And now they're faced with a fourth and goal. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. Herbert to throw for it on fourth down. Oh, the blitz gets there. He is set, and they will turn it over on down. And here we have a real gutsy call here, Mike, early in this game offensively. I think you're giving up a surefire field goal attempt, but at the same time, you're demonstrating to your players, hey, offense, I have a lot of trust in you, and let's see if they have this same approach as the rest of this game plays on. Set to go now on first and ten. The drive starts with a run by Madison. Not much. Second and long. Coming up. So the two sides going to make that long walk to the other end of the field. The Chargers out to the early lead. And we're back at SoFi in SoCal after this.
Here's second and nine. Here's Madison. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. From the gun, here's Minshew. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase of what they call blaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go, and he's forced to just throw it away. Davis to return it. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. The Chargers offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They lead it here in the second quarter, 7-0, as they begin with a first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just time of first down. A pickup of not. Mike, the old adage, you run to set up the pass. This modern offense nowadays, we're starting to see that flipped upside down on its head. Typically, the success of the passing game is what allows teams to have success like this in the run game. Play action now. It's Herbert. He's got the connection there. It's Joshua Palmer. And they'll take this down inside the 35. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. Now this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. To throw. It's perfect. He connects with Palmer on that one. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. 15 more on that connection. They're making it look easy. That's another first down. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now in that field, there's no mistaking who it is. Two minutes remain. First half in a 7-0 game. Greg and I return to SoFi Stadium after a short break. They'll come up here on second down and five. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. the kicks away Abdullah now to return 
He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Vegas offense ready to get rolling again. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0. The score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. With shotgun, a throw for Minshew. He's going to let one go, looking for Meyer. And that is brought in. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. A big play there for the Raiders. 56 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. That one caught by Tucker. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they have an internal clock in their head. How does my protection match up with the rush and the route concept I'm trying to attack downfield? In this case, he's looking downfield, realizes quickly this ball's got to come out, checks it down to his underneath drag, picks up what he can. Back is Minshew. The second down throw is incomplete. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not I And I believe the referee was buzzed by the replay Previous officials indicating, let's get a closer look at this. They trigger this automatically in the last two minutes of the half. Trying to get it to his tight end, Brock Bowers. And it'll be third down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the official upstairs and the replay center in New York get the second look. And indeed, this call will be overturned. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try and throw with Minshew. To the end zone. It's intercepted. Picked off by Oh, and in that spot, Mike, that's just painful. If the throw's not there, you want to just get rid of it. Throw 50 rows into the stands. Give somebody a souvenir. The worst case scenario, you've got to get to fourth down and have a shot at three points. But instead, after that pick, you come away with it. The Chargers offense in Gus Edwards heading back on the field for the next drive. They'll have a long field ahead of them as they start first and ten. Shotgun now for Herbert. Looking mid on him. Get it complete to McConkey. And they're going to get him down right at the 25. Give him 14 on. One play, one first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out of the time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can draw all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Chargers were led in the first half by their star quarterback, Justin Herbert. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half 
gets underway. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense and Gardner Minshew going to take over once again. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws. And generally, the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. start on the ground and here's Madison. He'll get about two. Aleo Mack multiple time all pro there on the tackle. Hook him up on the second down and eight. They'll stick with Madison. And this rough day on the ground continues. They're going to drop it behind the line again. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the hand off himself. Here's a third and ten. Now Minshew. And on third down, that ball is incomplete. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter. Like, points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive, but instead, poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. The Raiders have their punt team out there. He'll punt for the second time after hitting a beauty in his first effort. Turn fourth cover. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20 yard line. The Chargers offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and 10. They'll run to begin this drive. It's Edwards. And this is not going to work at all. He'll dive, get what he can. We're going to lose yardage on this play. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Here's a second and 12. To throw is Herbert. That's over the middle, but it's incomplete. I'm not sure if it's this big lead or if it's just this second half pressure getting to him, but that's just a careless throw by the quarterback. And don't let this lead fool you. Throws like that can change this game in an instant. And this defense knows they gave him one and they let him off the hook. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. I think back to our conversation during the break. We kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. They'll come up here first and ten. Now Herbert, the right side, and hauled in by McConkey. And good yardage there after the catch will wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. Now a play fake, Herbert. Gonna be incomplete. Was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose, and 
forcing third down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. Motioning the tight end now. He'll try and run for the first down with Edwards. A gain of two on the play. Brings up fourth and one. On fourth down, here comes J.K. Scott to punt. Back deep, it's Trey Tucker. And that one not placed as well as he had hoped. It's all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. The Raiders offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. They put Adams in motion. Quick throw here is complete. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. It almost seemed like the defender was getting the play call sent into his helmet, just like the quarterback, because he knew the play before they even snapped the ball, and that play had no shot. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. Minshew going to look to throw. He gets this one to Tucker. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. first down and Greg may be good fortune that they're able to keep possession after the fumble and I know where his mind is Mike he's so focused on getting that first down which he does a great job getting but it can't come at the expense of oh, after the catch he's hit and the ball is out and this is taken in by the defense and there it is the defense comes up with the big play forcing the fumble as they get their offense right back on the field Coming up, Greg, with a big turnover. Taking the ball away, Mike, has really become an art form in the NFL. Some teams are good at it, some teams not so much. But in this case, great job by the defense taking that one away. Here's first and ten. Now, Herbert. going to be incomplete and the block will stop likely one more play in this third quarter we'll try again here second and ten on second down it's Edwards so we are through three you're watching the NFL on EA Sports terrific but he's going to give you a full four quarters and I think at this point in the game he knows there's even more yards to be had Set. 
On play action now. Herbert. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do, and man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. They run once more with Edwards. So now, fourth down, and Cameron Dicker is on for the Chargers. No issues there. This one is good. And the Chargers stake themselves to a 17 to nothing lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Abdullah now to return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Raiders' offense back onto the field for their next possession. Let's go back and scroll through some of their drives. One theme, Greg, going to keep emerging throughout. Too many turnovers. Yeah, I think it's been a combination of just carelessness, right? Some sloppy play offensively that has caused some of them. But also, let's give some credit to the defense. I think in a lot of the cases, they're also forcing these takeaways, punching the ball out, going up for interceptions. They've been in the right place at the right time. So combination of really good defense at times and at times really bad offense. Here's a screen set up for Madison. And they'll get about half what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Minshew out of the pistol here. Good throw, out wide. It's caught. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Throwing is Minshew. That's caught. Left side by Bowers. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. He's got Myers on the complete. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. Throwing again is Minshew. He's got it downfield. Myers the connection. And he will score. Touchdown, Raiders. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Carlson's kick is good. And the Raiders are back in this one. It's 17 to 7. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense. 
keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. former Ohio State Buckeye, here's J.K. Dobbins. And this defense not allowing much there. They'll stop him at the 45. things over before third down. They'll drop to throw. He's got the open man. That's McConkie. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier. And that catch gets him a first down. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball, and you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down, but so far, that has proven to not be the case. Now it's Edwards, and a good run there. We're going to get him five yards. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Chargers are winners here as we say so long from SoFi.